Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video, I'm going to go over wave speed. Now, we're going to look at two ways in which you can calculate the speed of a wave. So let's get started. Now, the speed of a wave is defined as the distance travelled per second or each second. So remember, per in physics just means divided by. So we've got this equation here from the definition and hopefully you've seen this before in third year or in maths where you might not have used the symbol V but maybe S instead. Um, but remember in physics we use the symbol V for speed. So we've got V equals D over T or written in the form that you'll get given on the equation sheet in the exam, you've got D equals V times T, so D equals VT. Where D is the distance travelled by the wave in metres, V is the speed of the wave in metres per second and T is the time measured in seconds. Now remember when you're writing metres per second, ms to the minus one, you can write it like that or you can write it as m slash s, it's totally up to you as to which one you prefer. Now the next thing to mention is that sound and light waves travel at different speeds. One in actual fact travels much much faster than the other and it actually depends on what type of material the sound or the light is moving through as to how fast it's going to travel. And you'll see that by looking at the first two tables in the data sheet that you'll get in the exam. So we've got the speed of light and materials over here and over here we've got the speed of sound and materials. So the main ones here are air. So the speed of light in air travels at 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and in glass it travels at 2.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Another one I might watch out for in here is water, 2.3 times 10 to the 8. So light travels slower in water than it does in air and light also travels slower in glass than it does in air. Looking at the speed of sounds now, we have the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. If we just compare that with the speed of light in air, you'll see that's 300 million meters per second, whereas in air it's only 340 meters per second. So light travels a lot faster in air than sound does. Another one to watch out for in National 5 Physics is sound travelling through water. So sound travels through water at a speed of 1,500 metres per second. So some examples to demonstrate that sound and light waves travel at different speeds include things like thunder and lightning. So obviously if there's thunder and lightning, you would be able to see the lightning before you hear the thunder. And the reason for that is because the light is travelling so much faster than the sound from the thunder. And fireworks are another example where you would see the fireworks explode first and then after a slight delay you would hear them go off. And the last one there is maybe not as obvious but slamming a door shut, let's say you were standing at a far end of a corridor and you saw someone slam a door, then you would see the door slam and then a few maybe milliseconds to seconds later you would then hear the sound of the door slamming. The next things to look at are the speeds of sound and light and air and these are two values from the tables that we just saw previously. So sound in air travels at 340 meters per second, whereas light in air travels in a vacuum where there's no particles at all, a maximum of three times 10 to the eight meters per second. Now an example of a vacuum would be in space where there are no air particles to actually transfer sound. So in space, we could say that light travels at three times 10 to the eight meters per second because there's nothing to interfere with it. Now the last thing to point out for wave speed is the second equation that we can use to calculate the speed of a wave. So it says here, the speed of a wave can also be defined as the frequency frequency multiplied by the wavelength. This is sometimes called the wave equation. So it says that V, the speed of the wave, is equal to the frequency of the wave times the wavelength of the wave, using two properties of waves that we've seen before. So in this case we've got speed measured in meters per second, just like before, frequency is measured in hertz, and remember that wavelength is a distance, it's a length measured in meters. So that means we have two equations to find the speed of a wave. We have distance equals speed times time, and we have V equals F lambda, speed equals frequency times wavelength. That's all from me, folks. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.